That's the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so glad you came. Welcome you all to a discipleship class where we learn about the kingdom of God. Amen. And as we are the month of fasting, and the topic be a friend of God. Amen? Amen. We must be learning, we must already learn a lot. Amen. Be a friend of God. Thank you, Jesus. So we're going to the book of Romans, chapter 5, to bring up what we have here tonight. Hallelujah to the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 8. It says, But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his love, by his blood, we shall be saved from what? Through him. Let me read verse 10 also. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his blood, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this evening teaching. We thank you for us as your people. We come tonight to, oh God, to learn more of your kingdom and your value in our soul. We thank you, Lord God, for you to inspire us to the power of the Holy Spirit as we open our hearts to you. Bless us tonight. Teach us tonight. Holy Spirit, bring revelation, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Teach us, oh God, to be your best friend as we take on your characters through the power of the Holy Spirit in my faith. Bless us indeed. We bind principalities, we bind powers, we bind spiritual wickedness in high places. And God, we declare your blood over this teaching tonight, over every person mind tonight. We declare the blood that God, they will grasp unto your teaching to the power of the Holy Spirit. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen, Amen church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to bring across being a friend of God. And our salvation come about, and how we should be walking in saving grace, preserving grace, how to really access the mercies of God, and also identify the judgments. Amen? Amen. Amen, church? Amen. So we see where Paul is saying that even when we were in sin, when we were in sin Christ died for us. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And even now, praise God, as we reconcile, can you imagine? How much better, how, how much it is now when we even come home to him spiritually. Hallelujah. For if when we were enemies, when we were in the world, he died for us even then. What about now, praise God, even though we come into him, he says, we were reconciled to God by death, by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So now we come in, Paul says, what a great privilege. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We were in sin, we were in enemies of God, and he died for us still. And now we come in, he gives his life totally for us. So we are here tonight to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he must be a friend. Praise God. He's only a friend who could lay down their life for a friend. Amen. And that is Jesus. It was Jesus. I we thank you tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. So we want to look at the teachings tonight. Be a friend of God. From this verse, this passage, it says here that the demonstration, I put it together that persons can understand it better than we did on Saturday morning. So I will do the demonstration first and then we go into the rest of the teachings. Amen? Demonstration is already gone, but we're going to do the explanation more towards the demonstration. So, Jesus is saying there are steps to salvation. Amen? Amen. Steps to salvation. And the first thing, to accept salvation, we have to have faith. And we have to accept grace, which is Jesus Christ. The favor, the gift of God, which is salvation. And when we receive salvation, hallelujah, then saving grace, which is salvation, 
is going to take us into the palm of God's hand. And the scripture said, who can talk us on now? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the first part of it. Amen. Yeah. Can I go again that you understand this all? If we say we're going to serve God, we have to have faith first. Yeah. Amen. We have, we have teach on the three parts of faith, three types of faith, remember? Yeah. Salvation faith, yeah. mercy yeah. faith, yeah. and the gift of faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. So this is the first faith, salvation faith. So salvation faith is that you come to church and you firstly accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. So this is the first faith you should have. And when you believe by faith, you receive Jesus just by confessing that, you know, I believe that you are Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You died for us. You shed your blood. You died. You buried. You resurrected. I believe you were born from a woman, Mary. Hallelujah. And it's not so. You receive grace by believing that he came on earth, died, buried, and resurrected again. And when you do that, now you receive the salvation. You receive, it, it, it rescues from damnation, from hell, Amen. from going to hell. Amen. So salvation now is what you receive, the gift of God through grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And all of that, when you receive salvation, saving grace overshadows, carries us. So this is the first part of our salvation. Amen. As young converts. Amen. Hear the word? So saving grace follow the young converts. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And when we, 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 we do all of this, we are now in the hands of God or preserve from. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And when it comes down here again, it says, faith, again, you have to have to receive grace and grace salvation, which is mercy. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. And it is what the preserving grace is when we begin to grow yes. from a convert stage. Yes. So we begin to grow. We begin to get deeper into God. Like some of us here, we're in the saving, in the preserving stage of grace. Yes. Like preserving us to continue to keep our salvation. Yes. Yes. And that's where we receive mercy if we ever sit we get a little mercy to stay in the preserving grace. Yeah. Yes, we already have some saving. Uh, already have saving grace. Yeah. It is not put in behind. It is there still. Yeah. But we step into it to step into preserving, preserving grace. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. So that is why Paul is saying that even when we're in sin, Jesus Christ died for us. Yeah. Hallelujah. So much privilege now. We come, he gave his life totally, so now we have a better chance because we know more enemies unto him. We are friends. Yeah. Are you the friend of God tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. So these steps lead you into the hands of God and preserve to become a friend. Amen? Amen? So preserving grace is where we begin to grow. We go through temptations. We go through trials. You see it? We go through the process, the rocky road, the rough road, the ups and the down, the suffering, the flesh coming under pressure, the preserving grace in them. You know, the preservers will go through all of this. And right there and then, while you're going through your, your long suffering and your, your processes, you're develop, developing the characters of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You preserving your mind to stay awake, to stay sober, to stay alive. Because after some of us go through some process, we're supposed to man. We're supposed to come out and speak foolishness. We're supposed to be supposed to be nerves, supposed to be shaking. Hallelujah. Let me take an injection. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But we know God preserve your mind. That your mind firm, your nerves firm. Hallelujah. We are grateful tonight. Are you grateful tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So preserving grace come with us as we go through the darkness, we go through the rivers, we go through the floods, we go through the dry desert of time, we go through the hardness of time, we go through the persecuting times of preserving grace, keep us to continue, rely on him, to stay firm, he speaks to us in song and worship and, you know, encourage us to continue to run the race and encourage us to stay in him. And when you come out of the valley or the wilderness or wherever the long suffering leads you 
into. You come out and testify. Hallelujah. That mercy show up in my life. And preserve me through salvation. And, 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 and saving grace. Hallelujah. And preserving grace. So all of them come together to, to save me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe where the children of Israel came out of Egypt and going across that Red Sea. Hallelujah. They gone into the wilderness. It was only God preserved. Scripture said he preserved their feet. He preserved their clothing. He preserved them. Hallelujah. But it came a time when they get really frustrated and tired. They didn't have enough pers um, perseverance. No. Hallelujah. So they begin to say, I'm tired of, I'm tired of the manna. Hallelujah. So they begin to complain. So they're running out of perseverance, endurance. They're, they're running out of patience. And they went and they behaved really bad. You're in the scripture church. Yeah. Hallelujah. And because of that, now God gets angry towards them and give them judgment. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. We don't want preserver, the, to be preserved, the, the perseverance to fail. We want it to continue. Stay strong. Yeah. That God don't get angry. God angry with us. And judge us with number one or number two or number three. Mm. Glory to God. I wonder if I'm understanding today. So this stage of salvation is where we grow. We take changes. We go in seasons. We go in time. You know, we transform. This is where we take off our, our, most of our clothes, our dirty clothing. This is where we get our bathing and our washing off. And it leads back to this stage, sanctification stage. Hallelujah. You feel it? Yes. So the more we go through with perseverance, you know, God is filling us up to go into the glorification. So because everything links back to salvation. Hallelujah. So this teaching is talking about salvation, mercies, grace, or everyone come in alignment. To bring about a soul out of bondage. Yes. Oh God, come and rescue our soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I reach here now with the believers. So I hope you hear this is how we step into, into, into salvation from, from a sinning sin, sin stage. So now you become a believer. Now. Go through the process and persevering stage and, and all these, you know, these stages of trials. So now, look, saving grace, believers, we in saving grace, preserving grace and mercies. So mercy help us to find out ourselves over here. So when we get in, we kind of procrastination. We feel like we want to wander a little bit. The Holy Spirit prick us. Amen. We should have the Holy Spirit right here. The Holy Spirit right here. Somebody put right here. The arrow and the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit prick us to remind us that, hey, you're not doing the right thing. And when we confess the truth to him, then mercy come. And lead us back into preserving grace. And we continue walking the Savior grace. This is the forward and this is the reverse. Hallelujah. So faith, sorry, saving grace, preserving grace, mercy in the Holy Spirit. When in getting out of line, the Holy Spirit put us through what? The breastplate of righteousness. Amen. And when it comes because our conscience is alive, we're going to feel very bad. And there is a Lord Jesus, we sorry, we feel bad about it. Repent, we get mercy right here now. Because look, it doesn't lead up to judgment. So judgment, what comes for, the, for us to change? When it pricks us, it pricks us for us to change. You follow it? Hallelujah to Jesus. So the Holy Spirit pricks us, we move back to mercy, we run back to on our process, as we want to run out of our process when we begin to wonder. Preserving grace is where our process is. Our process is like here. So we have the Holy Spirit right here. 
Saving grace, preserving grace, mercy, Holy Spirit. Amen. Has anyone experienced this time? Yes. Hallelujah. If you're not experienced, that means your conscience is dead. Your conscience, your breastplate is not alive. Because it's supposed to shake you. Hallelujah. Show you around. The spirit of truth. Remember? The Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. It will come and it will tell you that, look, you didn't do this right. And if we try to avoid him, he will avoid us. Because God always wants our behavior and our attitude. Amen? Amen. And if he keep coming to you, coming to you, not listening, then he can lead over here. Judgment tree, leave it to your whole to be mine. Because they're not taking or telling you how to talk. Amen? So this is where you know we run back to preserving grace, staying our process, go through our confrontations, go through our trials, and come out victorious because see if it is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of these making sense tonight to somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> when we reach over here now again, he said, believers, faith again, go through your perseverance. And because you're going through your preserving stage and persevering, then you will be the friend of God. Yeah. Ah. Because this stage, persevering, you're changing off, yeah. taking off, circumcising. Yeah. You understand me? Identify the skills. Yeah. Identify the things that latch on you. Yeah. Realize that how oh, I identify generational curse. I'm going to burn the fast. So the more you take off, hallelujah, and put on the price, then you're going to be the friend of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But if you keep denying, denying, and not taking it, then you're going to get some judgment. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we see you here. Faith, we walk by faith. Yes, we walk by faith. We come to church and we worship and we praise God. We fast. And we talk to Jesus. But we still have fear by preserving. Yeah. Wow. We have fear the test then. We're not coming out the test. We're not coming through victorious. So because of that, we're going to get a judgment. Either judgment one, judgment two, or judgment three. Yeah. And I number them for us to understand the different yeah. ways we're coming out. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want any of these judgments to come to us. Hallelujah, we don't repent. We want to acknowledge, we want to repent sincerely because if we don't repent sincerely, we don't know. Yeah. You know, you can be like, uh, which one of that man? Repent but not sincere. It was Saul? Yes, and uh, um, Judas did not be, uh, repent sincerely. Hallelujah. Yeah. So because of that, we couldn't get pardoned. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we want to repent sincerely. Truthfully. That God can, you know, we can reconcile and recommit and run the race again with patience. Hallelujah. You hear me, church? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So please, we have to persevere. Perseverance is important. Hmm. Perseverance allows us to stay in the covering of preserving grace. Amen. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. And because it's preserving us daily, then we're going to be the friend of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we see here in salvation that we got we got mercy. Hallelujah. When we accept Jesus Christ, it gives us true justification. Take the dirty shirt and give us his new shirt. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we walk into his righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And to receive sanctification that continues through preserving grace. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So he had to preserve us. Now when we go through all of the trials and temptation, we still live in holiness. We're still standing up for holiness. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. And when you come down here now, and we go 
brought you sanctification so much and we live in the presence of God so much, we become so righteous. Justification stage gone. We're now living in righteousness. We become the righteousness of God. Ah, no, 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 no. Because we take on these characters. Hallelujah. So we become the righteousness of God and continue in sanctification. So we live in this stage. We live right here. We live in sanctification. This is where we go confession. This is where we tell God, oh, I had a rape. This is where we tell God, oh, I am weak. Oh, God, I am lazy. Oh, God, I'm quick to get tired and frustrated. Oh, God, oh, God, I'm getting weak and I need you to preserve me. Oh, God, this is a stage where we make intercession and cry out from a sincere heart. And then here come the preserver, the preserving grace come and preserve us from falling. Hey, and he's preparing us for the final day, which is the glorification day. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen church. So we see saving grace, starting, preserving grace, carry us into salvation. It's four stages. One, two, three. The four stages of salvation. One, two, three, four, yes. Righteousness, sanctification. Justification, righteousness, sanctification, glorification. The four stages of salvation equals to the very end. So saving grace, preserving grace, carries through the whole stages of salvation to the very end. So you know when salvation is finished is when Jesus put his appearance. And when he put in his appearance, he says salvation ends. And that's the time we want to reign with God, Amen. which is glorification stage. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand it, church? Amen. So God uses these little things to help us to identify the different stages of salvation and tie them to each other and let me know that one is the beginning, which is the grace, one is the carrier, and one here. That allow us to reconcile and the Holy Spirit allow us to stand for righteousness. Yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. That's the name of the Lord tonight, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we come on this side, because we're talking about preserve and perseverance. So persevere, uh, sorry, preserve. This is God's work. His responsibility to keep his people into our salvation. Amen. To protect them, to choose for them, Amen. to guide them. Amen. So that is why when you come into salvation and telling God to do this for me, do we can't do it because he chooses for us. Yes. And we feel it so hard because he said, God, I desire that and I desire. When he said, No, that is not in my salvation. Yes. Wait for you. You don't come here. Me to do your work. I have to do my work. I see what's best for you. As long as you desire is to fulfill the flesh. But he's saying my work for your life is to fulfill my, my work here spiritually. Amen. Hallelujah. So many times we want to choose and we want to decide and we want to protect our whole life and we want to do things on our own. When God is saying, no, 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 no. The angel of the Lord will encamp around you. You don't have to put up nothing around your place. God doesn't put up no black candle and a white candle and a red candle. You don't have to gather, gather. They say, the angel of the Lord will encamp around above them that fear you. It is my work, my responsibility to guard your soul. Don't take that on your head. All I'm asking you just persevere as you go through the valley of the shadow of death as you go through all different types of situations. I am with you but you have to do your part that I can work effectively and my father will be glorified and you will be my friend. What a God. Oh, put your hands together. Give you 
something you want to backslide. You want to tell me, hallelujah, that this is my life and God is going to put on some pressure. So who may love it? He chased it. Hallelujah. So come now. God's responsibility is to keep his people up in salvation. So whatever it takes for you to stay God, you got to move it unto you. Hallelujah. If it is not in his will, it has to go. If it's in the will of God, he's going to stay, he's going to move, he's going to make his ever purpose. He's going to allow you to see him in your life and give you testimonies over and over and over. Praise the name of the Lord. Before church. So just let God do his work, man. Don't tell him you like this, you want this. You know that you're not ready, you're not mature yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he will protect you. He will feed you. He will fend for you. He will move mountains for you. God said, I will kill for you. I will bring down nations of people for one soul. For my king, for my queen, for my Without giving up or going back in 
say. Hallelujah to Jesus. So when you look at the word, faith, the word, promise, practice, assurance, benefit, salvation, give it up or go back to sin. These words we need to pay attention to. Hallelujah. Because the enemy will come to wipe out all of that out of our spirit. Out of, out of the, the, the contract and the benefits of salvation in our soul and our life. Amen? Amen. So the devil now doesn't want us to walk by faith. He doesn't want us to apply the word. He doesn't want us to believe that God made promises to us. Because God promised it too long. So we give up. This long suffering took too long, too hard. And I can't wait no more. Hallelujah. So let me just help God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So we understand that we have to practice to stay in the assurance. We have an assurance. God means he give us assurance. He give us, he give us confidence. It gives us hope. It gives us something to survive and to look to and believe that is a law in John chapter 14. He said, For not the one, he says, I've gone to prepare a place for you. Let not your heart be troubled. He that believeth in God, believe what also he. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I've gone to prepare a place for you that where I am, you want to be there also. So that is assurance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You and I want to be there also. The whole reason for salvation is to be with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I must be there in the glorification saying Jesus Christ. So we have to persevere. We have to walk by faith and not by sight. We have to believe in his word and his promises. We have to practice and to say his assurance and benefit of salvation without giving up or going back to hit you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot bow down to the enemies and the idolaters. We have to persevere. We have to resist. So let me look now. How to persevere in God? How do you do that? Praise the name of the Lord. Because perseverance comes into the preserving grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And perseverance is a hundred percent human that want to push to go with a hundred percent preserving grace. Hallelujah. So you and I, hundred percent man, no sin. But because we take on the hundred percent God, the preserver, the preserving grace, we going to put this flesh under subjection for us to go through the situation of long suffering with ease. Hallelujah. You don't know when you carry the hundred percent God in you. It gives you the anointing to go through much easier. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm not to mention. Hallelujah. 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 So how to preserve, persevere in God? Spiritually, how you do that? You have to keep reading the word of God. Not just read, but apply it. Amen? Amen. And when you read it, you put it two way in your life. You examine yourself first, and you see if you manifest it as a fruit in somebody's life. Manifest it as a salt. Amen? Amen. So when you read, you examine yourself. If you identify something in you when you read, you confess it to Jesus Christ. And you see if God is using you in that hearing to give somebody a fruit. You just can't get up and read, read religiously. 
it must be shedding circumcising. You must be getting some sweat, man. Cutting your up. Feel the bad. Flesh must be bad. Hallelujah. When you see your hug yourself in the mirror of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Spiritually, you must be reading. And you must be praying. The scripture says, pray without ceasing. Don't stop. If God give you the weapon of prayer, you can't stop. Because if you stop, come on, man, you're going to get away quickly. Because all that you're praying against is going to come at you as a weapon. All the demons that you chase when you stop praying and find you. All the friends that you pray to your life when you stop praying, they're going to come back. Hello? The boundaries, the scripture said that the man of God named Maya. It becomes very sad and discouraged when you see that the walls have been broken down. When the prior wall break down, what one keep on the enemy? We have to use the prior wall, hallelujah, to guard, to defend, to protect, and to preserve the grace of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We also have to do fasting. So when we fast, we have to ensure that we don't fast with a motive. We don't fast because we, 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 we desire something. We fast because we want the flesh man to die and the spirit man to come alive and strong in our soul. So when you fast, the devil will challenge you as he fast, as he challenged Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 4. He said, Jesus was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil to ensure that the flesh man go down and the spirit man in him challenge that devil. Man shall not live by the devil.
to become a strong man. It hung up, it gripped, but it's not Jesus gripping. It is sin. Hallelujah. So the more you fast, you're rooting up the tree. The tree is coming up. The tree is coming up. And then you realize you begin to forgive easily. You overlook that. You don't show me no more. Amen? Amen? We have to talk about forgiveness, brethren. It is a must. The only reason why we receive salvation is because God forgives us. If He didn't forgive us, we don't know what will happen to us today. It was forgiveness. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Walking by faith, spiritually, we have to walk by faith and not by sight. So we don't walk to what we see. No money in the house, we don't see no money, we stress out. You have to see money to feel faith. You have to see food to feel faith. You have to see the things physically to believe, say, hey, I serve God for true. No way. You don't see nothing. And after you finish praying, lift up God and worship Him under your situation by persevering. At the end of the day, the scriptures in our supply on your needs according to your riches and glory. Amen? Amen. Another one, recharge. So when you feel drained, you have to go back. Recharge. Charge up yourself. Charge up your batteries. Yes. Go into some deep, deep, deep reasoning and, you know, fasting and consecration and all of these things because you want to recharge. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord because you feel drained because you have gone through a season of perseverance and you need a recharge. So you spend a little moment with Jesus Christ to get back your strength here. Consecration is a must. Detox is a must. Confession is a must. Acknowledge your weaknesses is a must. And that is your spiritual perseverance in God. Because the devil don't want you to come and fast and you have a reflux stone. You have pain in your back. So I use it because it doesn't like us when we really put us to sleep. We have to stand up and read. Amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't like when we pray. We pray with more moving but with mind all over Jamaica. Hallelujah. So we're not praying with focusness. Funny, but we have to be persevere, persevering to stay with the Holy Spirit. On it? Yes. So we have to stay in consecration because the devil tells us, hmm, may not have the spirit, may not have the one, may not have the one. As long as we're in this flesh, hello, we will be challenged with a certain spirit. Any generational curses and spirits is going to challenge us. So the more we pray and fast, we subdue. We keep it under control. Amen. You know, living live in us and control us over the will of God. So we have to consecrate. Okay, I'm going to consecrate just want to fast. Let me just consecrate two times. Am I good? <laughs> you know, you know. Some persons in Bible truth, they don't like consecration. You don't have to be a sin. You don't have to do it like that. You make sure you do it because you don't know some person coming from the goddess. You don't know when you see, but they're not resting with them. Fight to it. Why they have to consecrate the way they consecrate? Hello. Praise the name of the Lord. So don't come about and criticize personal consecration when you deny what you carry. Religiousness and laughter. We don't have this. God is saying, take up him. Why you not growing spiritually? Why you not mastering that? Our habits, our attitudes, our addictions. When we do that, we have to stop doing that. We have to confess the truth. Hallelujah. No time to criticize. No time to see other person's spirit. See your spirit. See your weakness. The scripture says, bring the beam out of your heart. Yours, you're a religious person. 
Because when I want your attitude, your words are going to be hallelujah. But I don't choose to trouble you. Just explain it. Hallelujah. Because I see some things wrong here in Christendom that I don't trouble. Because what you struggle with, I don't struggle with. Amen. But I am here to help to the power of the Holy Spirit. But we have to learn to humble ourselves and acknowledge that we are all in the same position. Sin be coming out of it. Full of more than dirt. We stain. We smell it. Perseverance. Tolerance is perseverance. Stop. 
Contentment is perseverance. Satisfied is perseverance. Grateful, hallelujah, to God is perseverance. Thankful, some persons when pressure reaches, they remember to tell their thanks. God never do nothing for me. Hallelujah. Humbleness is perseverance. Humbleness is feeling the pain and you can't defend yourself. No you have to just cry. Say, God. Your wing clip. When you find out that you're humble, your wing clip. You can't fly no more, run away from a situation because some we are running in a pocket bag. And we run down a mountain away. We run down a tree on me. Take our pee and we run in every situation and when we come back, we think we change. He's going to stand right here and wait for you to come back into it. Anyway, you left the cross, he's going to stay there until you come right back and you pick it up again. That's your cross. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we have to be humble. Hallelujah, humbleness, perseverance. Truth in perseverance because the enemy pressure you to lie. Speak a lot of lie because, you know, talk a little lie to them. You want want some heart. I want to feel so much pain. But if you speak the truth, God, it comes down heavy. Talk the truth and you feel pain, more pain. Look, when Moses went to fear, said fear, then God's people go. And fear, God only fear a lot. Moses going. You don't fear it? He said, okay, we used to take the straws to you. You will have to go out and get them yourself. Yes. And assign some big man to slap them to go out and work them harder. So when the devil knew that you want to come out of something, he put on pressure for you not to persevere. Hear the children and he said, why this man come here and make, make fear of
your God know that God process. Oh, Hallelujah. So your fear to persevere. When we become a no nonsense person, when we go through a process and gain the discipline of Jesus Christ, then I come to you with humbleness. I approach you with love. I approach you with humbleness. You know, here one intercarnality that to kill his soul. Yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. When we finish that, the soul still live. Still love you tonight, you're born with your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you think that, okay, God is taking me on on the road, the highway, the highway 2000. <laughs> you think that. When God is taking you on I-95. You, we won't go on highway 2000. Because it is a virtual. When I-95 has some big patrol, even on highway 2. <laughs> Hallelujah. No one want to see if they can drive through them. Go around them, or you're going to fall into them. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we, we choose and we tell God what we desire when it's something easy we want to go through. Follow? God said we have to persevere. He gives the hardest battles to soldiers, the greatest soldiers. God gives you hard battles. Amen? Amen? Look at Moses and Joshua. You know that Joshua get the hard man, the hard battles. Moses didn't get the, the, the chance to face the Canaanites. He didn't get to face and come from the Jericho wall. Hallelujah. Yes, he got something similar to Red Sea with this uh, Jordan. Hallelujah. But that's the only similarity he got. But after that, look so many things that Joshua's gone through. Hallelujah. Repent those people just like Moses. Some of them come along, but praise the name of the Lord. Joshua has gone through so much to possess the land. Amen, church. So you may get something, and I get some, but we're going to one place. And we have to persevere. Amen, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can look at another one as we come down to judgment. All the disciples were there with Jesus Christ, except the Apostle Paul. And look what he went through. Shipwreck. Viper biting. He was being in prison locked down. He was he gone through so many persecutions. Yeah, Paul, Paul the Apostle. He been through so much because he was a chosen vessel. And he persevered. And he can write us, write the scriptures through inspiration of the Holy Spirit to tell us that we have to have patience. We have to wait upon the Lord. All that I have gained, I call it done because I'm learning to know his resurrection and the power. Oh, hallelujah. I have to persevere to know it and to the power of it. Hallelujah to Jesus. So when we come down here now, if we fail to persevere, then we can get judgment, punishment, punishment, judgment one, to change. It's not to kill us, but it's for us to change. So God see that we have some little bad habits. We tell a little man now and then we procrastinate. We fail to pray. We don't want to carry out the duties. So he judge us swiftly by rebuking us. Hallelujah. Take away our seat and let us sit on the ground. Amen. So you see that we become lukewarm and complacent. So God come put me out of a position for us to see where we're at. Amen, Amen church. Amen. And that makes us to run to God in confession, consecration, acknowledgement and detox and start to do our spiritual perseverance again. Amen. To stay in the, the persevering, the, the preserving grace. Hallelujah. 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 Another punishment, judgment, hallelujah to Jesus, that can come to mercy. 
uh, the penalty and to reconcile when we break foul laws, you know, pledges. We make vow that God, I'm going to serve you, I'm going to do your will, I'm going to do that. I vow to give, I vow to worship, I vow, 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 committed myself, I dedicate my marriage, I do everything. You commit, you dedicate, you make vows, but you go against it. When you go against that, is a penalty. And the penalty is for us to feel the pressure of what we take back. From giving to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we know how to reconcile, commit ourselves again, and uh, go into mercy, get into the preserving stage, that the grace, great the saving stage, and the preserving stage can keep us to continue being a friend of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too much information, church. Hallelujah. The final judgment is when we decided we did not change. Why? We're still at the mother. So the mother is still. So the father was. And you take on the things and you decide not to change. And all God has called you, come, come, you stop her. You have a idolatry. You put up everything before God. He yeah. said, you must give up. You don't give it up. Hallelujah. He said they're going to be a judgment. Death or spiritual. That's a final decision by God. He leave it to your to be mine. And he make a swift judgment against us. If we refuse to answer his call, refuse to give up, refuse to turn to him, that he can protect us and do his work, then God will allow the enemy to kill you. Because no protection is available. Remember, no. when you got saved in the hand of God, and it's the angel of the Lord in camping, he said, He'll preserve you when you go, no. Preserve you while you come in. So if you're not allowing him to do his work, then you under the wrong comfort. He can protect you when, when some things happen. Amen, church? Amen. I hope you understand tonight's teaching of preserve and to perseverance. How to persevere, how to resist. Don't succumb to the feeling. Don't go with the thoughts. You have to fight back. You have to speak to the situation. He said there's life and death lying the power of the tongue. You have to use your mouth. Hallelujah. You have to learn to detach. You have to learn to confront and conquer. You can take the devil beat up and don't beat him back with, with truth and forgiveness. Hallelujah to Jesus. You have to pressure the pressure. Hallelujah to God. You have to willing to no, give it up first. Some person give up and then they fight after. I don't know that work. Hallelujah. But you have to fight first. Amen, church, that we can stay in the preserving seat of Jesus Christ. That you will continue to protect. Choose first. I want God to choose for you. I don't have my own life to choose for myself. You choose, you guard, you guide. Whatever you see fit in the will of God, give it to you. If it's not in the will, don't give it. I don't need nothing out of the will of God. And we should have the same mindset. Hallelujah. Anything you're going to give me is going to allow me to reach down my judgment tree. Hallelujah. Our faith to persevere because when God gives us some things, we normally want to worship it that like worship God knows. So we get weak, we get complacent. We feel like we reach a cloud nine, we head become so big, you don't have no problem like before. You must still pray. You may master some things in your life, yes. But please, to testify to somebody, help them to master their situation. And lock up your mouth, amen? amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. I hope you understand to my teaching the steps of salvation. Hallelujah. For believing in sister salvation, to preserve and persevere in Jesus Christ and the judgment of God. Amen. Lord, bless you tonight, have a wonderful night in Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.